Okay, CNC hot wire cutter update. Since the last time I have switched to some new software as recommended by Keith. Actually just did my first cut. Also, this table is new and I also went from using springs to using this pulley system here still playing with the weight I think I have about one and a half 1.75 pounds going through a couple pulleys there um, also I wanted a more permanent table and the way Jetta cut um, does its cuts it um, works its way from the far end not from zero so um, now I have this full cutting area the cut it, it can cut a little bit off here but that's not too important mainly I needed this section so all the way out to the full extension of 700 millimeters which is just short of the uh, 28 inches that the drawer slides can go <music> problem that I was having and why I added in this pulley system is that right now and their neutral position everything zeroed that distance is just a little bit more than 39 inches but what happens is when that guy gets all the way up there and that one's all the way where it is now that's that cutting distance actually increases by 10 inches and so when I was using springs, it would work totally fine when you had something with not very much sweep, just a couple inches. But on this project that I'm working on here, it's got a pretty extreme uh, sweep on the leading edge nose section. And so it was either use some loose um, springs so that in a neutral position it was loose and then as it got way over here, it would get super tight. And there'd just be inconsistent cuts because it'd be cutting really tight in the loose in the front and tight in the back. So now with this pulley system, I have 10 inches of travel. This is a, this is a straight pulley system. There's no mechanical advantage here. So that, that distance there is actually 10 inches and I'll have a a little uh, slideshow or uh, whatever you want to call it up there showing it actually working. Um, and then like I said, I, I got this table going. I'm still not sure if I'm going to use it with a vacuum, plugging it in here and using it like a downdraft hold down table. But at least I have the option. But I had this. It was the nicest, smoothest material I had. Um, right now I've, I've stuck this down with some double-sided tape. And uh, that actually worked out pretty good. So we'll see how that goes. But, like I said, I just finished this cut, and it turned out pretty awesome. If you can... and that, that trailing edge is just ridiculous, and I added some uh, sparse slots, so that'll be pretty awesome to not have to, uh, you know, melt or dremel or razor blade out for my spar slots. This is a uh, PW51, and some weird little defects. You know, I'm still, 
I had a weight on top and I forgot, so that's probably from the weight being on top. But yeah, it matches on the bottom. But yeah, that's pretty happy with that. Uh, the back two inches will be cut off and that'll be balsa elevon. But just to show where this is or what this actually is for, this is actually this section of uh, this will be about it'll be about 60 inches all the way across uh, so this is 562 millimeters so first project anyways just want to give this little update oh I also switched from I was using a 12 volt power supply now I'm using a 24 volt power supply and um, I have this little I don't know if it's like just a potentiometer to turn uh, restrict the flow of power on the 12 volt I was cutting it around 9 watts and it wasn't quite enough now on this 24 volt I'm uh, cutting at like 8 or 9 watts and it's like perfect I think it's because this uh, Rene wire that I'm using here I was reading that it likes um, higher voltage so simply because I went up to a higher voltage it's actually cutting 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 better so the watts are similar but the um, volts are higher and the amps are lower if that makes sense so anyways little update see you guys later